now that our minds are made up, I think we both are really eager to just jump into this next phase of our lives as quickly as possible. Even without a go bag. Even without a go bag, which we may still have. We may still have a go bag. <laughs>
and we really will be traveling with two suitcases, probably a carry-on and a backpack. To me, it's actually a little bit exciting. Terrifying and exciting. It's Terrifying time. and exciting. You'll see from all of these different choices yeah. that how much we sell or get rid of is dependent on the path that we're taking. Right, so if we're gonna be true digital nomads, we have to get rid of a lot more stuff. If we go to the D7 visa for Portugal, we actually have to be there for 183 days straight. So we would take a few more things just so we don't have to worry about buying stuff. Like everything requires us to think through, well, what do we do today to prep for this next move? And then the third choice really complicates things. The third option for us to consider is to have conventional jobs and be living somewhere in Europe. Portugal doesn't have a, an explosion of jobs for non-Portuguese people. It certainly would be easier to get a job in an English speaking country but then again, are we paying more to live in that country? We're not paying San Francisco prices. Is there a way to somehow live cheaper and lighter? Learn from the digital nomad stuff a little bit. If we took that path, we may actually take a few more things with us than our five suitcases, because we would expect that we would live there for definitely a couple of years. I don't know. We're yeah. keeping our options open as to what that's going to look like. Yeah, I don't want to bring a ton of stuff still. I, I still want to keep the mindset that we're not taking the lifestyle we have right now and just moving it over. Right, absolutely. We may bring some art as opposed to traveling with five suitcases, which would preclude that. Yeah, definitely. So if it was me reading the signs. But if it's me reading the signs. And there's a lot of signs. We're definitely getting indications both ways that this is the thing we should be doing. I can see right away that the universe is saying, this is good, this is good. This just happened. Oh my God, did you know this person just talked to you? All this stuff is happening because of the things we've started, this channel that we've started, so many of you have shared with us, that all that's positive. And yet again, there are things that are keeping us from making a quick choice right now. One of the things that we haven't really talked about is that I got picked in mid-July for a two and a half month jury trial. Two and a half months? <laughs> who, who gets two and a half months when we're trying to plan to move out of the country? So that is definitely putting a monkey wrench in our ability to travel to Portugal and check out that country. We've never visited. We've only heard good things about it, but we haven't seen it ourselves if it's going to be the right fit for us. Yeah, your trial ends a week after we're supposed to come back from Lisbon. So this is really the wrong time. In fact, we had to schedule a duplicate trip in October just so we could have something as a backup because airline prices, everything else were going up. So we do have two trips right now. We're really hoping for the September one because we want to be able to make a decision. And I really don't want to just move to Lisbon and say, well, we'll just wing it and don't know anything about the place. I'd like to know a little bit about it. But if you're reading the signs, the then signs. I definitely feel like we just have to be open-minded and trust that if that September trip doesn't happen, there's a reason behind it. Exactly, exactly. And you know, there's other things that are stopping us from making decisions right away too. Like we have family coming into town. And you know, the, the, for eight years we live in San Francisco. We've had a, a tiny, tiny visitation period of people. This last six months or so, we've had more people than we've ever had. It's wonderful and we're actually super excited that we get to show off our apartment and host family and friends for this short amount of time that we have left in San Francisco. Yeah, but it's a conflict of emotion. <laughs> exactly. Like we're finally getting the use out of this beautiful apartment <laughs> with all this space for people to actually sit down and dine with us and hang out and sleep over. And now we're ready to pack it up. And, and of course that adds to the uh, anxiety of this. The people throw in that comment, you're going to give up this beautiful San Francisco apartment? But it just is like a reflection of how fortunate we've been yeah, to be living in this incredible city and to be part of the San Francisco community. And, and we've been really, really happy here. We just feel a pull to Europe that we want to move forward with. And so one of the signs that was really recent, like within a few days, has been that your job change has immediately put a wrench in the whole idea of you're going to invest more time and effort into this position. And we can't overshare, but there's a potential opportunity in Europe that we are exploring. Who knows how that's going to shake out. Any of these options would be wonderful for us. Right. So I think we're really open-minded about which choice the universe is directing us to, but 
<laughs> right now, all three are viable options. Yeah, it really feels like this is limbo. Like we don't get to have the next sign yet. We can't just say, well, we'll just pick one. It's like, no, no. Between the trial, between other things like people coming into town, everything that is anchoring us to not making a decision right now is also frustrating because we're ready to go. And it's a little bit ironic, but one of our shots here today is we're in viewing distance of Alcatraz. And I feel like we're in traveler jail right now. <laughs> and we're really unable to pull the plug on anything. Right now, we're just kind of on an island, stuck while we wait for the universe to continue to unfold and for us to follow the signs along our path to know what the right thing is to be doing. Yeah, it's worked for many years for us. We, we see something, we think it's scary, but we say yes to it and good things come out of it. We really aren't stringing you along. We do not know yet what path we are supposed to take. Yeah, this is not a plot <laughs> trick. We do know that we want to take one of these three paths. We do know that they're all viable and we have planned them all out, but we just can't do it yet. If you're a Harry Potter fan like we are, then you'll know that the one chooses the wizard, Mr. Potter. It's not always clear why. We're going to try to capture as much of San Francisco in the next few episodes. As we leave the city, we want to have as many memories of it as possible. So if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube. It really helps to spread the message about our channel and help us to grow our community. And go to findengineering.com to get contact information for us. Send us an email, hit us up on Twitter, or just leave an open comment. Until next time. Until next time.